any measuring instrument will have a certain sensitivity, range, and linearity. Explain the meaning of each of these characteristics. So let's start off with sensitivity. So here's a voltmeter. And its scale readout goes from 0 to 15. So if it's been calibrated correctly, then it should read up to 15 volts. Each interval is 0 0.5 volts because each of these is 4, 3, 2, 1, and then half of 1 is 0 0.5. So sensitivity is the smallest change that the instrument can detect. And in this case, it must be 0 0.5 volts because that's the first interval. If we took a digital multimeter and we were measuring voltage, then in this case, it looks like we can measure to the nearest hundredth of a volt. So our sensitivity would be 0 0.01 volts. It's just the smallest change that can be detected. Now, of course, we could change the setting here and that may have different sensitivities. On a ruler with a millimeter scale, the smallest interval is a millimeter. And so one millimeter is the sensitivity. OK, so let's write a couple of lines about that, about sensitivity, for you to remember and test yourself on. So sensitivity is the smallest change. The smallest change of input signal. Input signal, that's the thing that you're measuring. Voltage or length or that can be detected ah that's all we need that can be detected okay what about range what is the range of a measuring instrument well the range is simply the smallest amount that it can measure to the largest amount and so we would say the range of this voltmeter would be 0 to 15 volts. Easy as that. And the range of this multimeter, well we've set it to a full scale deflection of 20 volts by the looks of it. So that means our range would be from 0 volts to 20 volts. A ruler usually goes up to 30 centimeters or 300 millimeters. So the range might be from zero millimeters to 300 millimeters. And that's all the range means. So let's pop that down here. A range is the maximum and minimum values of the input signal that the instrument can read. Can read. OK, easy as that. And finally, linearity. Linearity, what does that mean? OK, well, let me give you the definition first and then we'll have a look at some examples. So, linearity. So we could say that a linear response, a linear response, so that's an instrument that has a very good linearity, means that if you plot the input signal, the signal 
versus the output signal or the output reading the output reading then you will see a straight line and that's probably the easiest way to remember it what it means is that if your input signal that you're measuring be it voltage or length if you increase that at a set amount each time then your output reading will also increase by a set amount each time and you'll end up with a straight line graph here's an example of something which is nonlinear this is a thermistor and a, a thermistor changes its resistance as it is heated or as its temperature increases or decreases and here's the graph you can see that at 80 degrees Celsius we've got a resistance down here somewhere uh, I don't know what that might be maybe it's about a hundred thousand uh, maybe it's about maybe 10,000 ohms it's quite difficult to see because we don't have a scale here um, but as we decrease the temperature perhaps to 60 so we're going down 20 Celsius then this is our new response here and you can see that the output resistance of the thermistor increases by a little bit then we do the same thing we'll go down another 20 degrees Celsius and here's the next one the next reading is a bit further off and can you see that the the intervals here are not constant even though the intervals here are constant the intervals on the output reading of resistance in this case are not constant and when we get to 20 again going down minus 20 we've taken another much bigger jump and we're now over here go down to zero and you're right over here so that's a non-linear response now ideally you want a measuring instrument that is linear because it then becomes a lot easier to calibrate that instrument i.e uh, put the uh, numbers on the dial and uh, it's much easier to do that if you know that if the temperature decreases by a, a set amount each time then if you've got a straight line your resistance will increase at a set amount each time I hope that's helped you understand these three uh, characteristics of measuring instruments test yourself out on these uh, definitions and I'll see you in the next flashcard